What's up guys, welcome to another episode. Today we'll be replacing the front brake pads. In this case, this will be on a 2008 Nissan Sentra. And uh, we'll be doing this with just basic hand tools, so really any of you out there can really get this done uh, with these. And all that I'll be using is uh, jack stands, a floor jack. This is the uh, factory load nut uh, wrench that came with the vehicle. And a piece of piping, and I'll show you why you'll need this. So that being said, let's go ahead, let's remove this wheel, we'll jack up the car, and we'll have clear access to the brake pads. Now what I'm going to do here is use the stock lug nut removal wrench that came with the car, and then use this piece of pipe to place over the wrench. That way I will get a lot more leverage to remove these bolts. All right, so looking at the brake system here, here's your rotor, this is your caliper, and right underneath the caliper, there's one right here, and there's another on the other side. These are your two brake pads. So what we need to do is remove the lower nut, which is right back here. Uh, we're going to remove this nut, then the caliper will swing up, and we'll have uh, clear access to the brake pads. Now in this case, this happens to be a 14 millimeter back here, and instead of really uh, hitting this hard with your hand, what you could do, just get a hammer, okay? Then lightly tap the wrench with the hammer, and that's all it takes. So now you can remove this lower nut, like so. Alright, this is what it looks like. And now this should just swing up. There we go, like so. And here are your brake pads. These brake pads are not too bad, as you can see. Actually, they're actually in decent shape, but we'll replace them anyway since we're here. On some vehicles, you may have to also remove this upper bolt. Uh, on GM cars, for example, you have to remove both the lower and the upper one. Uh, but on this vehicle, we just need to remove the lower bolt. Now, the first thing you want to do is remove this lower sliding pin. And whenever you purchase your brake pads, the auto parts store will <clears throat> sell you a small packet of brake grease. What you want to do is remove this rubber boot and grab your brake grease and apply it on this pin. Okay, this is a sliding pin. Get the grease, just apply the grease all the way around. Go ahead and reinstall your boot here so it completely covers the end of the sliding pin then reinstall it into this lower bracket. You want to make sure that this boot is completely sealed now. This keeps out all of the moisture and debris, road debris. So make sure it completely covers the end of this, uh, the end of the caliper bracket here, and of course on the other end of this sliding pin. Put it back on. Don't discard it because you do need it to protect the uh, the sliding pin against moisture and debris. Uh, next thing, what we'll need to do is you have a piston here and we need to push this piston back into the bore of the caliper. Now before you do this we need to remove the cap to the master cylinder and place a rag around it. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's the master cylinder just remove the cap here and then let me just zoom out here for a sec. What you want to do is place an old t-shirt uh, a beat up rag, just place it around this housing here. Make sure the engine's cool as well because you don't want to have anything go up in flames. So make sure everything is cool as well. And the reason why you want to do this when you compress the caliper piston, 
uh, the brake fluid will rise and it, sometimes it may come out so this is why you want to just place a rag or paper towels whatever around the housing and it, it will catch the fluid because brake fluid is very very corrosive it will eat up your paint you don't want that stuff getting on any uh, rubber hoses so just make sure you do this step and now we can go on and compress that piston back into the bore of the caliper then take a block of wood place it right over the piston then you have a C-clamp. Place the, the C-clamp right over the block of wood and what you'll do is compress the, uh, the piston back into the bore of the caliper. Okay, so just slowly compress the piston and keep an eye on the brake fluid from the master cylinder go in very smoothly in fact so now we can go ahead and install our new brake pads and here of course is our uh, brake pad again you want to apply grease on the back of it okay apply the grease on the back of the brake pad And you also want to apply the grease on these contact surfaces right here. Because the brake pad, don't forget, the brake pad does move on these little pins here. You go ahead, just put a... Put a bit in there. And don't forget about the other side here. Okay. So this first brake pad goes right back here. Just make sure it clips in these springs right here, like so. And then we have our other brake pad. Just go ahead, place our grease here. And just reinstall the brake pad, like so. And then we can go ahead, slide down the caliper, and reinstall the uh, nut here. And just like before, go ahead, get your hammer. And that's it. Now this is all set. Go ahead, do the exact same thing on the other side. And you'll have uh, brand new brake pads on your vehicle. And of course, don't forget to go ahead and put your cap back on the master cylinder. And as a last step, just go ahead, press down the brake pad, and by third, fourth time, it should be nice and firm.